Gemini, welcome to your reading for the week of June 13th. Uh, this week you start off with the Three of Clubs. So, um, uh, Three of Clubs does represent second chances, getting a second chance at something, having like a second chance come back around. Could be anything, could be a relationship, a business opportunity, a job opportunity, almost, it could be almost anything. It could be multiple things too. A lot of you could be kind of re-experiencing a lot of the same old things, uh, which would make a lot of sense. I mean, we have this retrograde still, you know, under a bunch of retrogrades and, um, you know, Mars in particular can, can definitely bring things back around uh, to us. Um, but uh, this card can also represent, it's a very creative card, so it's great for anything creative. Let's put it that way. You have the two of clubs as well, which they're both very creative cards. So if you're dealing with anything, any creative work this week that needs to get done, anything uh, having to do with marketing, sales, um, and, and anything with communication as well, anything dealing with people could go very well this week, especially with these two cards. They're very strong cards. Um but this card can also represent, um, you know, it can also represent uh, indecision and not really being sure what to do normally in relationships uh, and friendships and also in business. So if you've been struggling with those things, um, just know that that will probably clear up. It looks like it's going to clear up by the end of the week anyway. You'll probably be feeling a lot better. I think this week it's like you're fe probably feeling last week's energy very strongly still at the beginning of the week. So I, th I think by the end of the week that will all clear up. Next, you have the Four of Diamonds. Great card for getting new jobs, new businesses coming in, starting a new business, uh, planning that out as well. It's also a card of patience. I would say if you really want to get something started and you're really feeling that, which I think a lot of people are, I think a lot of people really want to move forward. I think these retrogrades have been tough. They've been holding us back and requiring us to kind of put a lot a lot of work into anything we want to get done um and, and i think at the back of the, our mind we really want to start new things but it's also like we think we can't um so but this is a card of patience and it and you know it does ask you to be patient and allow for some time to get things together um you know and uh, i think for you this the, this uh grand cross that we had going on and all this other stuff all still the energy still there um you know, it's been probably very, there have been probably a lot of strains on things like business and friendships and relationships and figuring things out and what you want to do. But like I said, this is also a card of patience. It said things are going to get back together. Things are going to kind of work themselves out, but you just have to be a little bit more patient. Next, you have the Ace of Hearts. Very good card. Uh, it removes difficulties anywhere you're struggling, uh, allows you to move forward. Uh, very good love card as well. Very good for emotional well-being too, uh, for feeling good and uh, getting what you want in a lot of ways. Can, it's kind of can kind of be like a wish card as well, getting things that you've been wishing for, and it can also represent just a turnaround of energy, just a, a refreshing energy, things coming back to you, uh, and and really almost being able to move forward. You know, for most people, I say that you're probably not going to feel like that you're truly even just looking at the rest of these cards. You're probably not going to feel like you're truly moving forward until you know really July, but. Uh, you know, things are definitely improving. Next, you have the Two of Clubs. Again, a very creative card. A lot of creativity here and, and using your creativity. It's also a card of overcoming difficulties as well. Uh, you have a couple cards here that are all about overcoming difficulties. This card's all about talking to yourself, really. It's a card of, like, talking through, through your own stuff with yourself, talking through problems with yourself and really checking in with yourself and figuring out what you want to do, what you want to do, like, in a lot of ways. And, um, you know, really, it's, it's also a card of changing your mind. A lot of you could be like totally changing your mind on certain beliefs that you have on, on people that you're with and all this other stuff. This is a card of changing your mind as well. So it's a card of making those decisions and kind of like weighing them out. And then finally, you have the six of spades. Card of incremental improvements, uh, a card kind of like the Four of Diamonds, kind of like a patience card. It does say things are improving, things are getting better, but it might just take a little bit more time. Things are just kind of working out. This is a very faded card. It's all about fate, and it says that like a lot of things are happening to you um, that are probably just seemingly probably coming out of nowhere and just happening. And it's kind of like we have to allow these things to happen so uh, we can get to like the better the better things in our lives. But this is a good card of moving forward. It suggests that we're moving forward and things are kind of like going our way. But it looks like a really interesting week. It looks like a good week too, I would say. Uh, so thank you for watching. And um, just know, I mean, for Gemini's, uh, really the, the second two weeks of June are really, really nice. Um, so I think things are definitely getting better for you in a lot of ways. But thank you for watching and enjoy the week.